If you are a blogger, a website owner, or a content creator, then you need to focus on what's trending in your niche. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that so that you've got ideas for trending content right now. Okay, so I've come over to Google and I've typed in the keyword prepping just to demonstrate this process. And if I scroll down a little bit, you can see there's a chart here. The reason I have this chart is because I have the Google Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere installed. I'll leave a link below for you to check that out. And this is really useful because it gives me a glance at this particular keyword, whether generally it's on an upward spiral, a downward spiral, or it's fluctuating. But regardless of whether it's upwards, downwards, or fluctuating, we want to look for a kind of baseline. So we can see here back in 2004, about 5,000 searches per month. And it's never really gone below that. It's actually gone quite a way up in recent times. But we've still got that baseline of you know 5,000 searches a month, which is not bad. But what we can also do is we come here, find long tail keywords for prepping. And if we click this, it will open up into a new tab and keywords everywhere will start processing. And it might take five or 10 minutes to get to 100%, but it's going to find us a bunch of long tail keywords related to prepping. Now, some of these are going to be irrelevant or weird, but we're going to get a lot of ideas. Now, what people, are generally speaking, will do is they will focus on the wrong metrics. They'll focus on search volume or cost per click or competition, and they'll make decisions on what kind of content to create based on those things. Now, if you use a different tool, you may find different metrics with cost per click or search volume. So what's really accurate? What you want to focus on is what is trending now and then create content based around that with the mindset of serving your audience, not creating content because it's got a high or low search volume or it's got a high or low cost per click. Focus on serving your audience consistently and then over time you'll find that people will generally come to your content and see you as a trusted source. So we can see now we're up to 47%, we've got 430 keywords. So I'm just going to stop the search now because it will take too long to go through. And you can see we've got a few things preparing which is not relevant but what I want to do is I want to click on trending and I want to find the most trending keywords. So we can see here prepping potatoes. 10 searches a month, it's not a lot, but it's a trending topic. We can come down and we'll find that some of these are good and some of these aren't good. Prepping list for beginners, 103%. Um, prepping vegetables for the week. Prepping to survive. Um, and we've got a few things with preparing in, which is not quite what we're looking for. But let, let's just choose one of these things. So let's say, I don't know, um, let's do this one prepping vegetables for the week. So we can click on that. And what we'll do is we'll come over to Google and we'll just plonk that in here and we'll hit enter. And we'll see that straight away a video is ranking at the top. So we do know that Google does rank video content for this particular keyword. So if you've got a YouTube channel, whereas you may not get that featured snippet as a video, you still you know, it's possible to get your video content ranked on Google. So that's a good thing to know. What we can also do is we can come down and we can look at all the other stuff. We've got more videos here and then we've got some blog posts. We can look at the kind of content that's being created. We can um, check out, you know, whether they're long posts, short posts, and we can use this as a basis for creating our own content. But what's really, really useful is this thing here. So we've got this people also are. So I'm just going to close the, this off. So we've got people also ask. This is a great way for us to plan out our written content. So I've decided that prepping vegetables for the week, it's a trending theme within the prepping niche. So if I've got a prepping blog, this could make a great article. And I'm just going to click open, close. And look, the number of questions increases. And we'll do this a few times. And this just gives us a great idea for subheadings. So now we've got all of these different subheadings that we can use to plan out our content. And we can basically write an article focusing on how to prep vegetables for the week. And then we can create sub subheadings within our content and just focus on delivering as much valuable information as possible to people that are going to be consuming our content. We're not really focusing on trying to sell them something or getting them onto a list. We just want to deliver on value. And if you can deliver on value, you'll become a trusted source within your niche and people will naturally over time, 
will opt into your list. They will buy products and services based on your recommendations, whether they're yours or affiliate stuff. But so many people, all they see is you know dollar signs or euro signs or pound signs, and they go straight after the kill, whereby focus on delivering value, treat this as a long-term business, and you will get results. And I wanna show you a free little tool as well. So let's just choose one of these things. Let's open this up and we get this bit of content. And of course, you want to make sure that you know the content that you're looking at is accurate and up to date. This is back in 2015. So I'm just going to demonstrate something. So I'm going to copy all of that. And then I'm going to come to a tool called Quillbot. Now Quillbot, if I just close that off, Quillbot has a free and premium version. You can check out the free version. I've got a premium version. It's 15 bucks a month. It's well worth it. And it basically rewrites content for you. So I've got creative checked here. If you've got the free version, you can only use fluency. I'm going to plonk this in. I'm just going to get rid of those little three dots. So we've got the question and we've got the answer. We'll get rid of the um, this little bit here because that was the image. I'm going to hit paraphrase and just watch this. It's going to basically rewrite the content for me super, super quickly. So we've got that. Bingo. So we want to make sure that this is unique content. So we'll copy this. We'll use a tool called Copyscape. And I'm going to open this up. I'll have to log in. So give me two secs. Let me just get my login details. Let's log in. Plonk that in there. See, I've got $18.61 in credit. You can add funds via PayPal or credit card. We're going to hit premium search. This is going to go down only a very few cents. Now it's three cents. And look, no results found. So this is now unique content. It's not going to give me any duplicate content warnings or I'm not going to be done for plagiarism or anything like that. And I can take this little bit of content and then I can put that on my site. And then I can use Quillbot and my own knowledge and expertise to basically craft a nice article. Now, what a lot of people will do, unfortunately, is they'll use something like Quillbot and they'll just copy paste it into Quillbar, hit a button, come to Copyscape. Oh, it's unique content, bingo. You're still gonna to need to proofread stuff, maybe change a few words, add your own voice to it, add your own intros and you know endings and all of that stuff. And then you've got a great post that you can now put on your website and you know that it's about a topic that is currently trending. If you wanna make videos, then of course you can go down the video route and you know that that particular keyword that we saw you, YouTube you get traffic from, but Google is also ranking videos for that particular topic, and it's trending. Whether you get 10 searches, 1,000 searches, whatever per month, don't get stuck on these numbers. Now, when it comes to Keywords Everywhere, so here we are over at the Keywords Everywhere page. In order to get the data that I showed you, you are going to need to buy some credit. So if we click on pricing, you can see you can pay $10 and get 100,000 credits. That is going to last you absolutely ages. They do expire after one year. So if you don't use them, then when your year's up, they will be gone. Uh, and if you need more, you can just come back and you can buy more credits. Honestly speaking, you're not going to need more than 100,000, most likely, unless you use it hardcore. And once you've basically created an account with Keywords Everywhere, you'll have to get an API key, which you click on this, you follow the instructions, they send an API key to your email inbox, and then you just come up to your extension and plonk it in, and it works. If you buy credits, they're automatically added, and you're good to go. It's super, super simple. So if you'd like to learn more about Quillbot, I've got videos on Quillbot. Keywords Everywhere is a great tool for taking advantage of trends, but approach it with the mindset of, okay, I'm finding trending content, and I'm going to create trending content that really helps my target customer get value and learn about a particular issue. And if you focus on having a servant's mentality, you will get results in the long run. Any questions, let me know. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right-hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, Ask any questions you've got below and I'll see you soon.